Happy Monday, everyone, from the Mafia. First, the news. Michael Jackson died. The memorial service is at 10 a.m. on Tuesday at the Staples Center. And at first, I thought, like, what? Is it like a Staples outlet or something? But no, it's just a stadium funded by Staples, which just goes to show you Staples is after you even in death. By local. Did you know that Michael Jackson had a live-in cardiologist? All I can say is, I hope he wasn't paying him much. Moving on. Guess who's back? That's right, it's our gun-toting caribou Barbie, Sarah Palin. She resigned July 3rd, and in her speech, which the New York Times described as an often rambling announcement and delivered in a voice that often seemed rushed and jittery. And you know, I would accuse them of biased coverage, but if you listen to the interview, that's exactly the truth. In any case, she basically left her future plans unknown and remained vague, in the usual Sarah Palin fashion. My last news announcement comes with messages for both the Village Idiot and the Village Skank. Village Skank, South Carolina is open. Village Idiot, you have found a true brother in Governor Sanford, as well as Clinton, Spitzer, Edwards, need I go on? Which brings me to my question. Are all men so unfaithful to their wives and politicians because of the intense public eye are just the only ones who get caught so publicly? Or is it something about politicians in general that makes them so prone to prostitutes and affairs? Okay, so now apparently I'm supposed to punish the detective because she didn't do her video on time or something like that. But honestly, I never agreed to those rules about like, the next person has to pick the punishment, blah, blah, blah. So I am just going to turn it over to the village idiot. Okay, on to the final segment, what I want to kill this week. And this week, it is small planes. I had to ride on one twice in the past week, and it was awful because every little pocket of air, the plane just like leaps around. And you, and it makes you want to throw up, but it's also kind of scary because I don't know, it, you're worried that the plane's gonna crash or something's gone wrong or something like that. You know, you know it's safe, you're still scared. The smell just like travels so easily, so if someone throws up over here, you smell it over here because everyone's packed in in such close proximity. It was really cute though because there was this little boy and we weren't even off the, like we, we hadn't even taken off yet, we were just on the runway. And he goes, Mommy, are we there yet? All right, well, that's all for today, and death to small planes.